Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08 and welcome to a short tutorial. Today I will be showing you the void ore miners from the mod Environmental Tech. Now there are six varieties as you'll see here and they are just simply labeled by the tier version. There's tier one through six and in each chest here I have the materials that you will need and you will need structure frames, uh, structure panels, laser lenses just one in every single case and then laser cores and then in the higher tier versions you will also need null modif or uh, modifiers they can be null or there are several different, different types and we will go over a couple of them in this uh, tutorial so basically how you make one of these void ore miners is you need blocks from the modern environmental tech and unfortunately everything is kind of progression based in this mod and so to get the materials to make the tier 2 version of the structure frame for example and let's just look it up real fast to get the tier 2 version you actually need uh, erodium crystals which you can only get from void ore miners so basically you need to progress through this mod one tier at a time and so let's uh, set one up real fast. So what I'm going to do is I already have the tier 6 version. Let's go ahead and grab everything we need for it. And I have that in this chest right here. Over here, these this is the dimensions that it will be. It will be 13 by 13 by 8. And I actually already have a plot of land cleared. And so these are actually the completed uh, versions. This is tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 tier 4, tier 5, and tier 6. To run these things, they need to have a direct line of sight to bedrock for the middle here. And if we take a look here, we see that under there is bedrock. So that's why that works. And let's go ahead and just recreate that. And actually, I need, for testing purposes, I need it to have this lens. So let's just replace that lens real fast. And so let's build this, let's go ahead and build this one right here. So what we need is, we need to find the middle here, and we need to build it up. So that's what I'm going to do right real fast. And then in survival mode, actually let's just go ahead and show it. In, in creative mode here, if you take the assembler, which is pretty critical to this mod, it's uh, pretty easy to make also. Just take the assembler and it's made like this. And right click and it will complete. And But this is only for creative mode. However, it's super useful in survival mode as well. What you do in survival mode, and let's go ahead and change this to survival mode real fast. What you do is you just right click and if you have the materials it will lay them down one at a time and it will build the structure. So basically all you need is to know what the materials you need are and for this particular one you need 20 modifier blocks which can be null modifiers, speed modifiers, whatever, accuracy modifiers. You need 92 structural uh, frame tier blocks and they have to be tier 6 in this version you need 56 structure panels which are these gray blocks right here and you need six laser cores which are these right here and then obviously you need one laser lens so that is how you construct a void or miner now there are things you can do to kind of change the yield here and right now we have uh, just the null modifiers in so let's get a chest real fast um, yeah, let's go ahead and change it back to creative mode. Let's grab a chest and let's not do that. Nope. Regular chest. Lay down a regular chest, throw down a creative energy source, and this thing should start pumping out stuff. Now it's, it's fairly fast, but it's not super fast. But if we go ahead and change these modifiers out and let's go ahead and change the time out, let's grab some speed modifiers over here and I have them in this chest over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change these out and remember it, it wasn't super fast over there 
But these red dotted blocks are speed modifiers, and they will speed this up. They will also allow this thing to consume a lot more energy, so keep that in mind when you use these. So basically, you just fill them in where the null modifiers are, and then let's take a look at how fast this is creating blocks. Okay, it still has a buffer of energy. This thing, if I remember right, has a buffer of 6 million RF. So let's go ahead and set that back down. And as you see, it's producing things a whole lot faster than it was before, which is pretty fantastic. But there is another modifier we can use. We can use the accuracy modifier. And specifically, I place the magenta laser lens here because the magenta laser lens actually only allows for one special one special or uh it only focuses on one specific material and let's see if we can't find the void or minor i don't know why this is not working okay but anyways okay maybe i'm wrong here okay there it is oh shoot i have the wrong thing so let me come back here in a second when I find a laser lens that will actually work for this void or miner. Okay, I found a suitable laser lens real fast. And what we need to do is we need to go to um, survival mode. And to craft the other laser lenses here, all you do is you take a clear laser lens. And I think you can even use a colored one, one that's already colored. And then you just put it in a crafting table with dye. And then you can get your specialized laser lens. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace both of these with the lime laser lens here. Because this will give us emeralds. And we can see this if we right click the lime laser lens in just enough items here. We go to the board ore miner tier that we are using tier six and we see that it, there is only one specialization for the line laser lens so what we're gonna do is let's see exactly what our special or uh, how exactly this affects our output here and let's let's actually clear everything out if we can and supposedly we should get more emeralds than we get the other things but now let's go ahead and go over here and test out the old accuracy modifiers because this is I believe the only two modifiers that you can use for the uh, whoops for the void or miners here and okay now we have this filled up and so let's test this one out and let's actually yeah we can just use a chest let's see here so we should we should see a little bit more emeralds than before. We definitely are. We're seeing almost actually we're seeing at this point. Let me see if I can clear all of this out. Actually, at this point, it looks like it might. Okay, it's creating a lot more emeralds than anything else. But if we go back and we find the lime laser lens and right click it, it said only 5.94 percent of the ores would be emerald. And so as we obviously see right here, it's actually probably around 90% of our ores are emerald, emerald ore. So that is what the accuracy modifier does. It just enhances exactly what you're looking for. So if you're looking for one specific thing, the accuracy modifiers are the way to go. And I do not believe that they uh, c cost more energy per ore to get, whereas the speed modifiers, actually I don't think they do either. They just speed it up. So I think it's something like 300,000 RF per ore or like 600,000 RF per ore. It just speeds up the rate at which it gathers ore, which obviously also speeds up it, the rate at which it uses energy. But that's not a big deal if you're using a creative energy source like I am. So I think that's just about all for the basics of the void ore miners. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like. If you enjoy automation in Minecraft, check out my other videos on my channel because that's kind of what I specialize in. Signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 08, and I will see you next time.